Hi, I'm Lisa Wells. I'm with the Canada France Hawaii Telescope, and I'm one of the remote observers. Now, we, re we observe remotely from downtown in Waimea, not up at the summit. And I'm going to show you, give you a quick tour here of the remote room here in Waimea. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, computer over here. This controls how, opening the dome, moving up and down the windscreen, um, opening the mirror covers. All of the things that we used to have to do from the summit have been automated and are on this com computer now. So we can control everything from downtown, including turning on and off lights inside the building in various places. This one is a, uh, another computer that we use to just monitor weather, monitor other things, and to keep up various uh, things like the other observatories, quick weather pages so that we can watch the weather around the summit and, and make sure that there aren't any clouds and there isn't any fog coming up over the summit. This computer right here is the one that I use the most. It is the one that controls the instrument and the telescope. So I have a, an astronomer who actually creates cues every night. And depending upon the conditions during the night, I use those cues to do the observing. Right now we have a spectrograph on and we control the telescope and send the targets from this window. We actually set up the guider here and then I'm able to see the images uh, as they come off the telescope and then grade them so that the next morning they can be validated or left to, uh, sus to be suspect because they may not have been the greatest conditions during the night. And I can also watch everything on this because this shows me what's going on and it usually has a little strip across it that tells me how much of the exposure is left. So that's the main one that I use. At the beginning and the end of the night, I use the telescope control computer. I use this one because we need to turn on the telescope hydraulics. We need to turn on the dome. And all of that is done from over here. And we uh, use um, a wonderful sky chart here so that we can see where we're pointed in the sky. And the nice thing about the telescope control computer was we also have a backup guider in case we can't use the main guider of the instrument because the star may be too faint. And then I have a lot of uh, windows that I use also for my diagnostics. So this one here just tells me a little bit about the weather, where the telescope and the dome are pointed, and hopefully they're both pointing in the same position. This tells me where the telescope is and gives me some information on how well the guider is actually guiding through the night. This is an all-sky camera that shows me where uh, clouds are coming. So it takes the last two images and does a difference. And I can see black and white bands across here if there are clouds moving through. And of course, I can see where the clear parts are and I can hopefully go to targets in those areas to stay away from the clouds because we don't like clouds when we're observing at night. This is another diagnostics that, that diagnostic screen that tells me how much cloud I have. This, tel this little uh, camera is, point is mounted actually on the telescope, so I can actually see exactly where we're pointed, how much cloud is going over us. And this tells me how good the seeing is. So if you look at the stars at night, you'll see them twinkling. This will tell me just how bad, that, bad or good that twinkling is, and we have a really good sight up on the summit. Unfortunately, our two cloud cameras are sleeping right now during the day, but these are wonderful cameras that point to the south and another one to the north to the east, sorry, northeast, and they tell me whether we have clouds coming up over the ridges because that might mean that humidity is going to go up and I'm going to have to close the telescope because humidity is bad for electronics. I also have two windows here that tell me uh, a little bit from the, from the satellite maps. So I have the infrared image and I have the water vapor image. And so we can actually keep an eye during the night as the clouds are rolling in. And I can, if I see a band of clouds coming through here, I can usually see it coming through here as well. And then lastly but not least, I have some cameras that are looking all around. All of these are mounted uh, on the outside of our dome, except this one. This one is actually mounted on Gemini looking toward us and I can actually watch those. I have the moon phase and all of the pertinent information for when I start and end observing. And that's a quick tour of our remote observing room.